Hey everybody, B.W. Cummins here with you with another drawing. I'm going to draw a old-fashioned camera in a lowbrow style. Just made it up as I went along where things should go. We have a collection of cameras like this in the house, so I had one sitting in front of me to kind of see what is important and what is not to keep because they are complicated little devices with a lot of moving parts, but I didn't need to include all those moving parts for this. I just needed to include enough to uh, show what it was and uh, I knew the eye was gonna be the lens, of course, and I decided to make the opening that the uh, lens comes out a uh, mouth. So it was a little, got a little weird. And at some point um, drawing this, you'll see that my white was drying out a bit, and so you kind of have to press down to prime it. And uh, rookie mistake, um, you should always prime markers like this off the drawing. But you know, in these I'm moving so fast that I didn't go. You'll see sometimes when we move off to the side and test a color, even it might be out of view, I don't know, um, on some of the videos, but usually in the corners of my drawings, there's little blobs and blips of colors and whatnot where I tested the marker, make sure it was doing what I intended it to do when I touched the drawing. And uh, so I didn't do that. And I just <laughs> pumped the nib and a bunch of white came flowing out. And that's that happens. The first thing is, ah, crud, but I'm not going to scrap this kind of a thing because it is just a daily doodle. And so, you know, I just started thinking how I could incorporate it. I, I, you'll see I left for a second. It'll be just a split second because this is sped up, but I left, got a paper towel and soaked up most of the stuff. And I wrote on it and made it worse and made it big and, you know, blah, 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 blah. But it's this is just a good way to show that you just shouldn't ever discard a drawing. You can always fix it. So I decided to uh, put some words over it. It might be a little bit, wait for it, cheesy, but it is a fix. And you guys seeing me draw this know that it wasn't intentional. But for someone who's just looking at this later on as a drawing, it looks like, hey, he always meant to say, um, say cheese. Um, again, this is a doodle, so I can salvage it without a lot of effort. But there, there would have been ways, even if this was a, a finished piece, to salvage this. I remember way back in high school, I still have this drawing somewhere around. We were doing a, a project where you did a big watercolor wash and then did fountain pen ink. And, and I got ambitious and I think I did a, a 14 by 11 inch piece with a fountain pen. And it was a, a sailing ship with complicated waves. The contour of the waves was all line drawn and all the planks of the ship. And I got ambitious, and this was going to be a ghost ship with no one on it. But uh, like 75% of the way into the drawing, as I was carrying, taking the pen to the uh, piece, a big old drop happened right in the middle of the, uh, the, you know, the stuff on the ship. I don't know, I'm not nautical. I don't remember what it's called, but the rigging. Hey, I do remember what it's called. Um, so, you know, big old blob of black ink right in the middle of this this brightly colored wash and all this detail and my heart sank, but uh, I changed direction, turned that into a little dude, uh, a little silhouette of a guy who's on this ship doing some rigging. And now it seems like a ghost ship, except for with one guy. It just reminds me of, of, that was like the first time my heart sank, but then, you know, I was able to finish the project, not have to start over. And in that case, the goal was a grade, so. Hope you enjoyed this little weird uh, old-fashioned camera and like and subscribe if you haven't already and hope you guys have a great day. Bye now.